So we've done an early debate on our radio show about influential UK rappers. I wrote something on Facebook just as a blanket question, who is the most influential UK rapper? Um, your name came up a few times, Chester P's name came up a lot of times. So but I'm sure you have your own influences before that and your own view on it. So how would you answer that question? My musical influences, thanks to my mum, is a beautiful, eclectic mix with no prejudices. So I heard everything right across the genre. Like I say, before hip hop come along, I embrace punk, rock and roll, um, mods, um, you know, I've been into everything and hip hop came along. And for me, it's not necessarily who were the early influences of UK rap, but who were the early influences of rap. Mm. At this point, I'd like to hail up, bless his heart, R.I.P. Muhammad Ali because he was one of the first rappers that ever influenced me. At the same time, there was always people like um, Bob Dylan, who to me was rapping. So between the eclectic mix of Bob Dylan, Muhammad Ali and Chaz and Dave, who used to spit Cockney rhyming slang around the piano and, and, and fast tongue rapping. I'm like, yeah, I could play it now. Don't tell me that in hip hop now. You know, Chaz and Dave doing their Christmas, they used to do this Christmas gig uh, on telly, he was coming up like, that's spitting bars. <laughs> so, so, I mean, and what some people don't know, if I, if, I, if I may be a geek, not only were Chaz and Dave like majorly influential on British lyricism, there was an older lady before them who used to sell out all of the old Victorian theatres and she was a Cockney rhyming round the piano lady. I wish I knew her name, but you know, she was rapping. Uh, then we have people like Wordsworth, our very own poet from these shores, who was rapping to me. When I was reading Wordsworth, that was rap, that was hip hop. Um, so for me, my influences, influences were many and far, but now I'd like to, if I, as well as my memory may serve me, like be able to try and quote people that were influences on me at a time when I was doing this culture as well. I mean, we had the crew from Shut Up and Dance out of Hackney who done This Town Needs a Sheriff. We had Overlord X, we had Silver Bullet, we had Cookie Crew, the She Rockers, Moni Love, we had MC Duke, we had Derek B, um, Rodney P, London Posse, Sipo, The Beatbox, this is my hip hop reggae style, you know, and I was very much influenced by dancehall at the same time as I was hip hop. So the fact that the UK shores have got that strong dancehall West Indian influence in our hip hop, one of the very few people who scratched the surface and the core of that were people like Just Ice, but at the same time were people like Sipo and Bionic and Rodney P, because it was an identifiable homegrown culture that we could understand firsthand. That patwa within the hip hop beats, that reggae style within the hip hop beats, or the rapping over reggae beats. That's natural firsthand to us as, as UK artists. And the only other influence that we could get of that was for, like people like Just Ice from Boogie Down Productions. So my earliest influences in UK rap uh, um, were those who I mentioned and there's loads more who I'm forgetting you know there was loads of rappers in that generation that were doing their thing uh, like let me mention MC Mello, John Z D. I I mean they, it's endless the list is endless and I don't really want to mention no one because I don't want to forget no one because everybody mm. nobody's more important than anyone they've all been detrimental and influential um, like and not only London like um, rappers from Birmingham have always done their thing. Um, I forget the guy's name, Gunshot. You know, they were out here from early doing their thing, putting UK on the map, Brotherhood. Like, so there was many people that were influential to the scene. The scene was vast and flourishing. I'd say I saw a scene be submerged and overshadowed by Acid House come the mid 80s to the late 80s. And it was at a time when not only UK hip hop was thriving at one of its highest points of flourishing, but so was UK soul, so was UK reggae. 
and then Acid House came along as something new, exciting, and a lot of things were overshadowed by the limelight of Acid House, which I've seen progress to jungle, to garage, to grime, which we again consider hip hop to be a relative of grime. You know, like grime to be a younger brother of hip hop, so it's gone full circle on a different route to get to back to the parallel of where we are. So, I mean, should we say that early junglist artists should get the credit as well, like Skibbity and the Ragga Twins? And I mean, if we're talking about people that are influential on me, I mean, I was very influenced by people like Papa Sam. I was also influenced by Smiley Culture, by Papa Levi, um, Asha Senator. Um, the whole Saxon sound system, um, Tipper Ari, you know, again, I don't want to miss no names because the influence is on moulding who I am and who I've been inspired is vast and wide. But every now and again, someone has come across lyrically that stood out to me or the way that they perform or the way that they put words together and their clever wordplay of lyrical patterns. So sometimes it's substance, sometimes it's flair, sometimes it's lyrical acrobat ability you know but many things have been influenced influential to me myself personally and i'm a homegrown uk artist so all of my influences have been from very close to far and wide but i haven't gone nowhere all of these influences have been at my accessibility so when i think about my earliest rap influences before I even recognized what rap was or what hip-hop was I'll say I now recognize it as hip-hop and I now recognize it to be Bob Dylan Muhammad Ali and Chaz and Dave you know they were my first three influences of rap 